And again, we have Leona and she's showing us how she works in a little bit. And at the end, we'll have the Q&A. So if you have questions, save them for the end of the session, and then you, all your questions will be answered. Is that right? Any questions? Right now? Like how we're doing this? No? OK, thank you. So let's start. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> Oh, um, I'd like to thank um, Anne and Nina for helping me on this panel. <laughs> They're very beautiful hosts. And um, I'd like to thank everyone here for um, the amazing chip in and for letting me come to YACOM because it's been a beautiful con and I love traveling to the Netherlands. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Um, so, I think maybe everyone here is acquainted with what I do, but just in case, um, my name is Hamma Bashi, um, and I draw a webcomic called Starfighter, and you can read it online for free, and it's about these, um, a fighter and a navigator who become romantically involved with each other, and, <laughs> yep. and there's, there's intrigue and drama and naughty parts, it's, it's very good. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to go through my process, but um, first I was going to do a little bit of trivia, and as a prize for the answer, um, I have a print over here. Well, I have a few, and you can pick out the one that you enjoy most. Um, but yeah, so I'll ask the questions, and um, whoever raises their hand first, I think we can go by that, that method. <laughs> um, but yeah, is it... Um, Oh, yes. Uh, so Nina will come back and she'll she'll hand the mic to you. Or a right. whole the micro view. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hopefully these questions won't be too difficult for Starfighter fans. <laughs> Okie dokie. Are we all set? All right. The first question is: uh, What side is Kate's earring on? Oh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, please do. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. It's on the left side. Yes, very good. Killer knows the answer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Please take one. Okay. Um, so the next question is uh, what is the name of Cain and Abel's ship? Oh, oh clearly. I think Esther knew. <laughs> the Reliant? Yes, very good. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you guys are very good. You know your Starfighter trivia. Okay, the next one. What side is Praxis's eye patch on? Oh, <laughs> okay, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> Who's the first? Who's been the first? But I, think, I think the Praxis might have gotten this. <laughs> Yes, we left. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much. You have a wonderful practice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're spot on. <laughs> okay. So there's two more questions. The next one is, um, what is the name of the fighter's commander? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes, Abel. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go then. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, of course. Amazing. 
Wow. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, thank you. so far it's been the most adorable convention I've ever attended. Alright, um, this is the last question. Alright, um, this, this one might be a little trickier. Um, what is the name of the battleship that Cain and Abel are currently on? It's a mythology question. Oh yes. Okay. Oh yes, very good. Very good, you got it. <laughs> Oh, well done, everyone. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Marissa? Is it working? Oh, yeah. <laughs> If it's possible, I think in the folder there should be um, a layer called rough, rough sketch, which uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see. But um, this might be familiar to some of you. It's a rough sketch of the actual. <laughs> <laughs> did, did I miss it? <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, so it's a rough sketch of the extras from chapter two. Uh, oh wait! <laughs> uh, so this might be one of the extra sketches, um, but there should be like a, a rough of a comic page. Oh, perfect! Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Marissa. Uh, okay, so this this theme might be familiar to some of you that have the chapter two. Um, this is an, a page from one of the extras, and um, so this is the first step of creating a Starfighter comic page. Um, I do some very messy, <laughs> rough sketches, and I try and figure out um, the flow of the page and um, what's going to be in each panel. Um, oh, and Marissa, you can uh, switch to the next one. Uh, so you can see from the rough to the um, to the inking, um, some of the panels actually changed from the, the finished. Yes, here we go. Um, so things change a little. Um, I find that even when I do um, very studious thumbnails, uh, as soon as I get to the page, um, things always end up changing, or I get a new idea or a drawing that explains what I'm trying to say so much better. So. Things are always changing last minute. That's part of Starfighter. Um, but somehow, somehow it gets done. <laughs> so this is the inch page, and this step takes the longest, which I'm, I usually draw very energetic and kind of sketchy. So doing very polished drawings takes a lot of work for someone like me. But, um, but it's always worth it in the end. And um, the next page, uh, the next layer should be the colored flats. Here you go. So, uh, thank you, Marissa. Uh, so the flats are sort of like very monotonous. Um, it's just filling in the flat colors. And uh, this is something that I do 80% of the time by myself. But uh, recently I've had one of my dear friends, Ona Robo. I'm not sure if you've seen her work. Um, probably if you follow me on Tumblr, you know that uh, she's a very good friend of mine. And I love her dearly. So uh, she's been helping me with the flats on the most recent pages. So um, it's been a great help, and it's been such a luxury. Uh, but this is this is what they look like when I do them myself. And uh, the next page is should be the lighting, and this is one of the more uh, exciting parts for me. 
I really enjoy dramatic lighting, and um, I think that might be part of what's considered a bit of my style, as well as the messiness. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yes, um, so this is pretty much the uh, the finished page with the lighting and the dialogue and the special effects that are very um, literal most of the time. Um, but yeah, this is the completed extra page from the chapter two extras. Okay. <laughs> So that's the walkthrough. That's usually how I make each page per week. And um, I think I can show you the extra drawings that I did for the presentation. <laughs> These are just special sketches that, um, yes, like this one. <laughs> and uh, Marissa, you should be able to click through each one. Um, yeah, these are just little goodies that I wanted to prepare for my time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is um, our little secret. <laughs> Where you can. Um, yes, and you can, uh, you can just go through them, Marissa. <laughs> so, um, there you go. <laughs> this one has some practice. There you go. <laughs> So, um, and uh, I think that's it. That's the last extra. But um, I really enjoy characters um, just being non-canon with each other, um, sleeping together. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> as, as far as I'm concerned, the entire ship is just sleeping together. <laughs> oh yay! <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, that's that's the uh, the walkthrough and the special drawings. And uh, now we're going to do a question and answer. So um, should uh, I hand the mic to you? Okay. I actually don't know if it would be better if you just ask that loud because I think uh, it, it's loud enough, and uh, I won't disturb you. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. All right. So we're going to do the old shout your question system. Um, I'm just going to pick uh, whoever has their hand up first, and I think we have enough time to get to everyone until we get the signal that it's time to leave or so. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, um, would you like to go first? Um, which one's favorite character? Which one did you leave the word favorite? Oh gosh, um, that's a good question. Um, let's see. Well, I, I have to say, Kane is the most fun to draw because um, he's very emotive and snarly, and uh, <laughs> I get to draw, um, he has a wide variety of emotions, um, so he's a lot of fun, and plus he likes, he's the one that ruffles the other character's feathers. Um, but I have to say, as far as relation to characters, uh, for me, Abel, as the narrator of the story, is the one that I tend to attach to emotionally, just because he's more sensible and less crazy than, than Kane. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, Kane is the most fun to draw, and I'd say Abel is the character that I try and identify with the most. Although to varying degrees, the other um, like secondary characters have some part of a personality that I find very interesting or can partially relate to. But yes, um, who would like question number two? Yes? Oh. oh gosh. Oh yay! Oh that's wonderful. Oh my gosh. Um that's great to hear. How many people here are sci-fi fans? Oh, oh my gosh, that's so great to hear. <laughs> um that's wonderful. Um yeah, uh, like Star Wars and Star Trek and Aliens and Marvel. Terminator, all these movies I absolutely love. <laughs> uh, let's see, um, for particularly for Starfighter, um, I was thinking of um, at first the idea of two pilots together on a ship that were named Cain and Abel, and that they had a very um, hmm, let's see, <laughs> like a very difficult kind of tumultuous relationship, um, but this kind of evolved a bit later where I got into Yaoi <laughs> and I decided I wanted this sort of like, um, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that everything happened. <laughs> um, 
I decided I was, I'm very attracted to um, this uh, relationship dynamic where two people are, are of opposing personalities that are sort of attracted to each other. So uh, the more I thought of this in the context of uh, Cain and Abel having personalities of um, one that's more aggressive and carnal and another that's more thoughtful and emotive, um, uh, yeah, I started to work together the idea of Starfinder in this sort of military setting that was uh, kind of loosely based on sci-fi that I enjoy. Um, but I can also say um, I Know Kasabi is a huge influence of mine. I absolutely love that anime. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. How many people have seen the, uh, the remake? Yes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do people know that... Um, I'm not sure if it's still continued. Do you guys know of it? Oh, it's on hiatus? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. <laughs> when I heard they were making the new version of this anime, I just thought, like, the, the first one was perfect. Like, <laughs> and it's being quite an otaku. <laughs> but, but the new one is also really enjoyable. I just love their, um, the theme of their society. So that was also a direct influence on Starfighter. Oh, sorry, I rambled so much <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyone else that has a question? Yes? Ooh, um, well, I can't say too much for, for spoilers' sake, but um, they're definitely like monsters. They're like creature aliens. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Perhaps? <laughs> Oh wow, thank you so much. I'm glad you can, I'm glad you enjoyed this um, the drawings. Yeah, um, they're going to be we're going to see them. Um, there's actually a space fight coming up where we see more of the ships. We don't see their faces quite yet, but um but they we will get a glimpse of the Colterons. I guess Kila? <laughs> Oh yes, um, well I'm very um, attracted and fascinated by Russian culture, so, <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, I, I just find it very fascinating and I love the, the artwork and the architecture and um, actually uh, as I've been drawing Starfighter I've made friends with a few Russian girls and I got a chance to visit Russia two years ago, I went to Moscow, which was incredible and surreal and um, it, it was quite great because I got to see St. Basil's Cathedral in Red Square and I like touched it and I was like, oh, <laughs> this has been a dream of mine. So um, yeah, so in some ways Starfighter allowed me to make these friends and then I had this amazing trip. So it was like, um, it was like a dream come true for me. Um, but yes, <laughs> making making Kane Russian was or a Russian descent was um, a little bit of my personal interest in the Starfighter world. <laughs> but yes, uh, all of Kane's slang, I asked for help from my Russian friends. <laughs> uh, yes, able to. Oh, um, not all of them. Um, Kane and Demos are of Russian descent, but they're of a particular part of. Um, the colony life. Uh, well, <laughs> look. Well, uh, all right, Keen is from the colonies, um, which we'll find out very shortly. Or I don't know if that's already evident. <laughs> but um, there's like a large Russian population there that um, most of the fighters also come from. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so not not all fighters, but um, a lot of them come. Are of Russian descent, or um, most of the fighters come from colonies. Yes, anyone else? I guess. But how do you actually come up with the Oh. This is actually um, join the dirty parts of the comic, or. The join the sexual parts is uh, the most fun for me. I think the, <laughs> yes, 
There was um, there was one panel in chapter two where Keen and Abel were having sex in the cockpit, and um, <laughs> and I managed to have um, one panel where it was like the perspective was coming like upward, and, um, and it was like Abel, and it was just like his penis and like his face of like uh, <laughs> like the emotion. And so I just thought that was like the ideal panel for me because it was like emotional face and then just penis. <laughs> I was like, I was like this, is, <laughs> this is what I draw the entire comic to get to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> emotional penis, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is. Um, I I really enjoy drawing the sexual content. Um, I don't really look at look at reference. I try and um, yes, <laughs> yes. I try and think of um, you know interesting poses or like dynamic perspectives. But also, um, I try my very best to get um, the face in with the like the faces first, and then the body. So I try and work off of that sort of method because um, I think emoting is probably. Um, in the yaoi genre, it seems to be like super important, and I've sort of incorporated that because I enjoy it so much. <laughs> but yeah, anyone else? Oh yes. Um. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll take uh, the lady in the front. Uh, I don't know if I can hmm. Oh wow. Uh. Well, for the costumes, um, their fighter suits. I really enjoyed the final. Or right. yes, and I think there's some uh, awesome fighter cosplayers here. <laughs> Uh, so as you can see, I enjoy this material. Um, so I, I really like um, the gothic kind of scene, and um, this was definitely influenced by the sort of fetish outfit. Um, but for their more casual wear, it's um, I think influenced by more like Star Trek kind of like very kind of simple utilitarian uh, uniforms. Uh, it in regard to the ships, um, that's definitely like Star Wars <laughs> inspired. Uh, I, I would say, personally, I'm not very good at um, technical drawings, uh, so I rely very heavily on this sort of like retro Star Wars look where the ships are quite angular and less organic. So yes, um, I'm not sure if Abel still has a question. Yes? Oh, like how many bottles? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, it's the the plan is to have four four um, chapters. Um, although Starfighter started out, it was that was um, supposed to be a comic that's only ten pages. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it might it might be more. <laughs> there might be five, but I'm planning on four. I have, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, yes, anyone else? Uh, yes. Um, she wants to know your name. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I can't, um, that's a little bit of a secret. I promise it's coming up. Oh, <laughs> it is, it is a Russian name though. I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What's your name? Ethos? Oh yes, what's his story? Oh, oh gosh, um, well, uh, Ethos is Praxis's new uh, navigator, and so um, they're going to have the relationship where Ethos um, really wants to be Praxis's friend, and he wants to have a good relationship with them. <laughs> yes? <laughs> but um, Ethos has kind of a difficult task ahead of him, because Praxis just lost his navigator in the first issue, and now he's quite fixated on April. So, um, yes, <laughs> Ethos is kind of pining after uh, Praxis, at least his attention. So, but um, Praxis is not too interested in Ethos right now, but perhaps it'll change. <laughs> uh, yep, anyone else? Uh, yes? Oh, um, well, it takes, um, it takes a few days. Um, um, let's see, it takes about a day to do the inking and the flats I give off to Ono for at least um, two days. 
Um, or they can also take a day if I do them myself, and then another day for the coloring. Yes? Uh, some, um, sometimes I do thumbnails for the pages, um, traditionally with pencil and my sketchbook, but they're like super rough, like stick figures almost. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, I don't usually scan those in. They're just usually very rough um, placement for the panels. Um, but mostly everything is digital. So very much, uh, yeah, like the walkthrough that you saw earlier. Um, I usually just start out right in Photoshop. Okay. I guess. Um, how long Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, that needs to continue. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, um, I had started last year doing the Girl and Machine comic, but um, unfortunately, um, a few other projects got in the way. Uh, but I'm hoping, I think I'm going to completely revamp and start from the very beginning of the story since my sort of test run that I was doing last year, uh, I started at. Um, Let's see, uh, like, I'd say a little bit into the story just to see how I would draw it and how I could get, like, if I wanted it in color or black and white. I, I was just sort of trying it out with the characters at that point. So I think I want to try it again <laughs> this year, this summer, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like these characters. Those are my oldest characters, and they're very near and dear to me. So I think. I think the first time I tried them, I was just trying to get down, like, oh, I'm actually going to do this comic now. <laughs> it's been in my head for so long. Um, but yeah, I will definitely continue with it, since um, I really enjoy the characters, and uh, they're very close to me. Yay. <laughs> uh, yes? Um, I'm here to do something like that. Oh wow, thank you so much. Uh, I do plan on some more animation and doing some GIFs. Um, they do, the animation takes a while, but I love it so much. Um, I actually went to school for traditional animation, so um, doing GIFs and little, little sexy, like, quick things <laughs> are something I really enjoy doing. So, yes, hopefully more of those are coming. <laughs> Is anyone here um, doing their own webcomic by any chance? Oh, yes? Yeah? Oh, that's very cool. Anyone here that, oh, <laughs> a very bashful looking. <laughs> Does anyone here draw also? Yeah? Oh, wonderful. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe if there are no questions, then maybe we have so many aspiring webcomic artists and artists in general, are there some like tips you can give them how to how to put up the webcomic, how to present it maybe? Oh, that is an excellent <laughs> an excellent topic. Uh, so I should start off by saying um, so I first started Starfighter. Uh, I thought it was going to be a very quick dirty comic. I thought I have this idea, I'm just going to do a really quick sex scene and that'll be it. Because I've never done a comic before and I figured this was going to be, you know, a trial to see if I could actually do it. Um, so of course I started Starfighter, and I realized these characters could just have sex in this beginning scene, or I could draw some sort of space battle, and then there will be a plot and a narrative, and you'll get the, um, you get a gist of their personalities, and then the sex will be so much better. <laughs> so, um, I decided to take a little detour when I was drawing it, and I made this whole, you know, um, I made the space fight in the first chapter, and it was um, kind of difficult to draw, but I thought in the back of my mind it'll be worth it all in the end. <laughs> and hopefully it worked out. Um, so I started uploading the pages on DeviantArt, which um, I think uh, I had been on for four years, just sort of on and off. I didn't really think, I didn't consider it very seriously. It was just like an art site that I was putting the pages up on. Uh, but the more I started to post the pages and get feedback from it, I realized, wow, this is the place to post the comic pages. Um, so uh, it got to a certain point where um, the Starfighter was getting a little bit dirty. And um, DeviantArt has um, rules that you can't post any erections 
or something. <laughs> I, I forget, but you can't vote any, um, yes. Yeah, definitely no intercourse, no erections. It was not the place for Star Fighter. So, um, so then I moved everything to a personal website, which is starfightercomic.com. And if you've been to the table in the dealer's room, there's a young man there. His name is uh, Bisbee, and he's the one that made the site. So he's the one that made it possible to to watch uncensored Starfighter. <laughs> but um, I found that having your own site, or at least some um, major base for people to go to, where they know where to find your stuff, is definitely extremely helpful if you're um, trying to gather an audience as an artist. Um, and if you could almost um, sort of streamline the names of the websites where you can be found, like um, if you have a particular handle that you draw, um, that you sign your drawings with, or the name of your webcomic, um, like uh, I can usually be found at Hamlet Machine, uh, Tumblr, and Twitter, and DeviantArt. So um, this is definitely helpful for people to find you. Um, and also to be on these social network sites where um, people can get updates of everything that you're doing and um, connect with you personally is also extremely helpful and I think um, is really enjoyable for fans of your work. So yeah, um, I would recommend if you're um, posting a, a webcomic to maybe start off at on one of these free sites where you can upload your art such as Smackcheeves or DeviantArt or Tumblr and then perhaps eventually get your own um, your own personal site. That would be the best, like the, the end the end goal for you. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Any questions now? For this maybe? No? Okay. okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, um, I think I think it's quite awesome because um, you really get a personal choice in the media you want to endorse, and there's so many um, artists that are doing their own thing, and uh, yeah, <laughs> to give them to to donate projects to them, such as the um, I recently donated to Brian North's um, his interactive Hamlet book, which was quite cool, and the uh, Homestuck video game which was really awesome. <laughs> so this is the kind of stuff that like, I'm very interested in and would love to support. So for me as a consumer, it's absolutely perfect. Oh gosh, um, possibly. <laughs> I think for the comic books, oh, uh, for the comic books, I've been um, self-publishing. Um, so I haven't used Kickstarter, but um, there's something in the works that I might be using it for that's Starfighter related, which hopefully I can uh, reveal to you shortly. Not quite now, but soon online. And um, I think it's time to wrap up. Oh, yes? Okay. <laughs> all right, so um, uh, yeah, that's the end of the panel. Um, thank you all for coming. And for just and just... Thank you all very much. I'm so happy to be here, and thank you for coming to the panel. I hope to see you later at the table. Thank you.